Hello everyone. This is my second video on uh, the disassembly and now reassembly of your HP TC1100. Uh, the last video we left uh, you off with a motherboard tray with uh, no memory in it. So we'll start assembly. So first you'll take your new memory which uh, hopefully is now one gigabyte so first thing you want to check is the slot right here I don't know if you can see that is facing that way reinstallation is uh, reverse of disassembly memory will go in smoothly press down then it's in next you're going to want to put your heat shield in make sure black tape is facing down and there is a little tab right here and you want to align this hole with a little raised part right here so and also on the motherboard tray there's these little frilly things you're going to want to have this tray go under these frilly things. So lift your ribbon, make sure it's not caught under. Same with your audio ribbon. Go under the frillies, line your little tab right here, and then align the holes on the rest of these. That looks pretty good. Then you can push down the adhesive right here. And you're ready to put these screws in. Take your Phillips head. Now, this screw right here, that's an important one because you're screwing into pure copper and you don't want to strip it. So be very careful. You shouldn't feel any resistance when screwing this in. If you do, you might have a problem. You don't need to tighten it down all that much. Or hard. So screw the rest of these in. Make sure they're hand tight about. All right, now we can put in our audio ribbon. As when we took it out, there's a very thin line. It's hard for you to see. That little line down there, you're gonna wanna insert the ribbon there. And I, I like to push it down with my pick just because that makes it easier. It's in there. And with your little pen opening here, you're going to want to align it so the power button is pointing that way. So it will align perfectly right there. If your tablet is like mine, this is loose and will often fall off. And if you don't get that right, it'll make it very hard to reassemble when everything's screwed down. So next thing, take your ribbon and just stick it through your plastic tray here so you can find it when you reassemble. And as you can see, my button came off again. So just put it back, make sure that the button slid that way. Also, if it came off, your little IR port, just put it back on. Okay. Now we can take our display and put that back on. 
and the display's hookup is right there. So you're going to want to align it so it looks like that. Get some room here. Push this over, and then put that in its slot, and push down the black plastic piece to lock it in. Now, you're ready to fold these back together. Now you can do it like a clamshell like that. I like to just bring it over and slowly fold it while I hold my button. Then you can push this, make sure everything looks right. 